David was 22 years old when she was last seen riding her bike in Genesee 40 years ago. Her remains were found in the Snake River a week later. On the 40th anniversary of Kristen David's death, the FBI is reissuing a need for tips from the public with any information about her death. According to the FBI, David was last seen alive along Highway 95 near Lewiston. She was riding her blue 10-speed bike on Friday, June 26, 2981. Then, one week later her dismembered remains were found in the Snake River, west of Clarkston, Wash. The remains had been concealed inside black plastic bags, and some of the body parts were wrapped in pages from various April 1981 editions of the local newspaper. Her bike, clothing and personal items were never recovered. FBI Salt Lake City Supervisory Senior Resident Agent Zach Schofstel said in a press conference that no tip is too small or insignificant. We understand that some people with knowledge about the case may be hesitant to come forward. It could be because of close relationships with those who may be involved, as well as a concern for their reputation or standing in our community and amongst their friends, Schofstel said. David was born on December 23, 1958 in Pierre. SD 22-year-old University of Idaho senior Kristen David disappeared. Kristen called her mom Sally on June 25, 1981. She said she was going to ride her bike from Moscow to Lewiston the next day. Her plan was to leave around 10 or 11 in the morning. Kristen assured Sally she'd be home for work. At 6 p.m. on June 26, Kristen's work called her sister. She hadn't shown up. The family immediately went to the police. Kristen would never not show up to where she was supposed to be. Law enforcement wasn't worried. But Kristen's family knew better. They started their search that evening. They walked the roads Kristen could have taken on the 30-plus mile bike ride. The family searched in ditches and empty buildings on the paths. There was no sign of Kristen or her bike. On June 25, Farmer James Archibald was on US Highway 95. He saw a brown van with Oregon plates. It was parked on the side of the road. A man got out of the van and walked to the back of the vehicle. On the ground behind the van was a woman with blonde hair. She had a bike with her, and the back wheel was still spinning. Archibald said it looked like the guy drove up right beside her and drove right into the side of her and pancaked her and kicked her, knocked her over there, and she just absolutely was not moving when I went by. He said the man was smiling as he was walking. Archibald called the paramedics when he got home. When the paramedics arrived on the scene, there was no van, no man, no bike and no woman. Law enforcement tried to track down the van. Archibald did give a description of the man for a sketch. He was 25 to 35 years old. He was under 6 feet and around 150 pounds. Even with a sketch and van details the lead led nowhere. On July 4th, the search for Kristen ended. A man was fishing on the Snake River when he saw a trash bag floating in the water. He fished it out and opened it. Inside was a headless human torso and leg, both wrapped in newspaper. He looked for more bags. 75 yards downstream, the same man found another bag with other remains. It was late in the evening when the fishermen called the police. Law enforcement came out the next day because it was already dark when the report came in. Three more bags were located. Each contained body parts a dismembered head, arms and part of a leg. All were wrapped tightly in newspaper. The bags were found in a six-mile section of the Snake River, a half-mile west of Chief Timothy State Park. I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge that Kristen's case has long been associated with several other high-profile murdered and missing persons cases in the area during the same time frame. We are not ruling out the possibility Kristen's murder is related to those murders, but we are investigating Kristen separately. That is all I will say about the other cases today, Schofstel said. Many years ago, authorities also received an anonymous letter that said, in part, the soreness of losing someone like Kristen David lives forever. Advances in technology have allowed the FBI to develop new investigative leads. Currently, evidence items found on and near Kristen's body are being reviewed and retested. In addition, nearly four decades worth of documents and reports from the FBI's case file have been reorganized. Records which had been maintained by local agencies were digitized and incorporated into the complete file. The investigation into David's murder continues to be a joint investigation by the FBI, Salt Lake City Field Office, the Assateague County Sheriff's Office, and the Lewiston Police Department.
The FBI asks if anyone has information concerning this case or concerning the unknown suspect, please call 1-800-CALL-FBI. People may also contact their local FBI office or the nearest American embassy or consulate.